Welcome again, ladies and gentlemen, to the Lawson Vlog. Today we'll be going over Evil Looks, Eden of the East, and Steam Summer Sale. So first off, Evil Looks, apparently, unbeknownst to me, I look evil. Um, I, I look mean and scary and... Yeah. Um, so, I mean, come on, really. Just because I'm bald, have a mustache, a uh, soul patch, which leads to a finely shaven beard. Does that really mean I look evil? Really? I make bad look so good. Okay, so yeah, maybe it does make me look a little evil. But I mean, come on, really? Is it really so bad to look a little evil? I mean, people like to see evil, right? That's why people go to movies to see supervillains and such. Or maybe they go to see the superheroes. I know I'm onto something somewhere. Vincent Price did stake a career on this sort of thing after all. Why can't I? <laughs> but really, enough about that. So, I only received one question, but at least I received one question. That was about Eden of the East. Now, Eden of the East is an anime, and the question was actually, are there going to be any more Eden of the East movies? Um, I, I don't, since that's kind of a general question, uh, I, I don't know what movies the person has seen. There are two movies currently, they might have only seen the first one, maybe they don't know about the second one. Anyways, I'm going to answer in full by explaining what Eden of the East is. Um, Eden of the East is an 11 episode long anime created by uh, Kenji Kamiyama, I believe? Kamiyama? Kamiyama? Who is the creator of Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex, as well as Ghost in the Shell SOC, Second Gig, and he's actually also working on a Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex movie, which is supposed to come out this year, I believe. It might be out already, I'm not sure. Um, that's supposed to be in 3D. I don't know if it's 3D as in 3D glasses 3D, or 3D as in computer programming 3D. Look forward to that, though. Anyways, Eden of the East is a uh, interesting anime about politics generally. Uh, it's not as serious as Ghost in the Shell. It's more uh, jokes around about itself. Uh, there's plenty of humor in it. It's a very adventurous anime as well. Just to give you an idea of what this anime is like, it starts off with a young red-headed girl um, walking out front of the White House. Uh, she's outside the gate and she's trying to throw a penny into the, uh, the, the fountain um, on the other side. And when she throws it, a few police see her, uh, and they come up and start questioning her, asking her what she just threw. And this is where things get interesting. Someone calls out to them, and it is this random Japanese guy standing behind them across the street, butt naked, holding like a Colt revolver in one hand and a cell phone in the other. And the police, of course, start to freak out. They start to chase after him. He escapes and somehow whips back around. Uh, and meets the girl, and things kind of take off from there. Their fates become intertwined, uh, and the premise of the anime is basically uh, a few select people were given special phones with uh, a ton of money on them, or I think it's like 10 billion yen, it's a lot of money, and they are told that they have to try to change Japan. And there are rules to the game. If you run out of money, you get killed. If you are not the winner, you get killed. Um, there are also other rules. Uh, they can see what each other does on their phones. They have a special person they call named Julie's who will fulfill a specific tasks for them. They could call and be like, uh, yeah, I want this person's toothbrush stolen from the bathroom. And, and Julie's would hire somebody to steal a toothbrush from the bathroom and it would happen right away and it would be perfect. Um, it could be something big. They could ask for missiles to be shot at the Washington Monument. Uh, so there's a, lot, there's a lot of things that go on. It's, it's got a lot of humor in it. Um, they talk about politics a lot. Problems with Japan having uh, a lot of failure to launch people. 
a lot like America, where our generation has, our generation, my generation, people that graduated around 2007, we are called the generation that failed to launch. Uh, and largely in part due to a lot of companies not hiring people uh, or having extremely painful hiring processes. I'm sure a lot of you might have talked to um, parents or older people about how they used to just walk into a diner and ask for a job and they'd get it. Not anymore. We have to do three interviews today to try to get a job and it's ridiculous. Uh, three interviews with one place. Um, so that's what it's about. Uh, it's the main character trying to change uh, Japan and it's really exciting. Eleven episodes. There are two movies. Um, the first one was The King of Eden. Uh, the second one is King of Eden uh, Part 2, Paradise Lost. Um, they're both excellent movies, uh, and they continue one off after another, so you do want to watch it in succession. As far as I understand, no, there's not going to be another movie. It did end with Paradise Lost. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I don't believe Funimation has dubbed it yet. Um, the rest are dubbed, the movie and the anime. You can watch them on Netflix or streaming, at least currently. Um, it's a, it's a rather good dub. Uh, I didn't really have any problems with any of the voices, um, and I'm sure they'll have the second movie done sooner or later. I believe the movie came out in Japan in 2010, so uh, prepare to see that. Anyways, on to the Steam Summer Sale. Um, currently, Steam does have a sale going on, and I'll show you a video clip of that now. Alright, so this is the Steam Summer Camp Sale, um, going on from June 30th to July 10th. Uh, every day the sale will change. Um, some things might stay on sale, but there will be quite a few specials. Like, for example, um, yesterday The Witcher 2 was only $34.99 or something like that. So yeah, practically every game on Steam right now is on sale to some extent. Um, it's pretty awesome. If you take a look here, the publisher catalog. These are all the publishers and their percent offs for their games. Um, you can look for games individually. Um, this also includes a lot of indie games like Terraria here, which is currently only $7.49. Hit games, been on the top sales list on Steam for almost two months now. Um, so tons of games on sale. Really, you should take advantage of this. Uh, if you don't have a Steam account, it's pretty easy to make one. You can just go to their website, head and sign up there. You download the program. Um, the the program also now comes with Team Fortress 2 for free. A uh, very fun shooter game. Um, so yeah, go ahead and take advantage of that, guys. Okay, and back to me. So, um, lastly, I have gotten about two or three people telling me that I need to decorate my background. Because, yeah, let's take a look at it. Not very exciting. Um, I did order something. It's a secret. But I did order something. It's big. It is a poster. And it's going to be very fun. I, I have a plan on how I'm going to introduce it into the vlog and into my room. And it will be exciting. I've, I've worked on a few things. Um, anyways, beyond that, uh, I need to to remember, if you liked what you saw, please hit the subscribe button up there somewhere. Um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. That is always appreciated. And most of all, most importantly, please leave me questions. Uh, questions about anime, questions about video game, uh, questions about Doctor Who would also be appreciated. Uh, that way I have more things to talk about in my next episode. I don't really like to ramble on about the exact same thing the whole time. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.